Hi, Girl Boss Beauties. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here checking out a video of mine for the very first time, let me officially welcome you to the Girl Boss Beauty community. I'm Stacey Elaine. I hope you stick around, subscribe, join the community, hit the notification bell so you will never miss a video, and keep watching because in today's video, I'm going to give you a first look of everything that I purchased and added to my wardrobe in the month of February. I'm actually going to start with sunglasses because I'm going on a cruise the first, actually the second week in March. So I've been trying to pick up some um, pieces for the cruise as well as just some other things that I thought were really, really good deals and steals. I am someone that tries to look fly on a budget you know, I got budgets and bills. I'm trying to maintain it all, look good, plump this skin, you know, get braces, align the teeth, all at the same time. And for this cruise, I felt like I was missing out last year on the sunglasses trend. So let me show you the sunglasses I picked up in February. The first pair I picked up were these no name brand glasses i got them from the beauty supply store for seven dollars love these i think these are these are like me one everybody's not going to the beauty supply store to get seven dollar frames all glasses are really like plastic and made in china and it's stuff like that so i don't think i gave anything away with these they are bold they are fashionable they are structured i just feel so fierce and these new this month, I probably picked them up on the very first day of the month. So I've been waiting all month to show you these stunners. And I just want to state, I feel like the whole world is trying to look like they got everything they own from the beauty supply store, including the hoop earrings, the corn rolls, the twists in their hair, the extensions, the lycra spandex two uh, twin sets. The beauty supply store has been selling this shit in black neighborhoods for the last 37 years. I know because I've been around that long, but now it's like on and popping and now Givenchy and everybody wants to sell you a spandex twin set and Gucci with a Y. Why? The second pair of glasses I picked up or by Don, Diane von Furstenberg. I missed out on the round sunglass trend, but honey, I came back like two, three to four, five. Honey, look at this. These fit my face so well. I can't wait to wear these on my cruise. I can't wait to style these. They just, I have like a little oval shaped head, so they do fit almost every type of sunglass. And these, I was actually shocked how good they looked on me. So the reason why I picked these up is because I wanted to be in the flat top sunglass trend and like the oversized trend. These are very trendy, so I'm glad I got them for just $7. And I got another pair of flat tops. These are by Stella McCartney. Got these from Nordstrom Rack, $99.00 regular price like 300 and something dollars love these they're like flat top aviators really cool unique shape love the rose gold these are some that are lightly tinted so i feel like when you're in a cruise like when you're in the solarium and stuff you may need some sunglasses and these are going to be perfect because they're not super super dark love these love these stellas Stella, love them, love, love, love them. So now let me show you my outfits. I gotta put my real glasses back on. And both of these came from Nordstrom Rack, by the way. And this dress I have on also came from Nordstrom Rack. This dress is five. It was five dollars and ninety nine cents. It is too big for me. It's a size extra large, but you can't tell, right? Like the sleeve is too big, but all I plan on doing is scrunching the sleeve up anyways like this because I want to break up all the dots. This is like so fun in winter. I love winter clothes with color and I absolutely love these. I would definitely wear these with either booties or ding, ding, ding over the knee boots. 
love this. This is an extra large. It costs $5.99. And I said, take my $5.99, please. Thank you very much. The next item I picked up also came from Nordstrom Rack is by the Philanthropy brand. It costs $16.50. It is a go anywhere dress. I thought this would be the perfect dress to travel with on the plane. I love a sweatshirt dress. So I got this one in a great neutral oatmeal color. As you know, I'm trying to be more neutral this year. It is belted, which I thought was fabulous. It fit me so perfectly. This one is definitely staying, and I can wear these with some shoes that I got. So let me show you the two pair of shoes I picked up, because I think I'm only gonna choose to keep one. I need you to help me to say which one I should keep. I bought these by the brand Melissa. I'm a huge fan of the Melissa brand. They make these rubber plastic shoes, um, but these are actually a sneaker. So now they've branched out from the flats and they're making sneakers. I thought these would be perfect for my cruise. And I can put these on. Let's see, I think I got me a travel look. Everybody needs a good travel look and this slip on shoes perfect let me let me let me put my glasses on <laughs> ow it's a whole look you guys i love these gold ones because they look so monochromatic with my brown skin but give it a little pop of mm, extra if you want melissa shoes they only make whole sizes so make sure you size down these shoes are very comfortable they're like walking on little clouds love this dress the whole outfit is a yes the shoes were a splurge for me because they cost 67 dollars um but yeah these are what these look like i picked up the same shoes <laughs> in a different color so i picked up the same melissa with campana um duo shoes collaboration shoes they cost 69.97 i got a size seven in these as well i can try to put these on and see so if i wear they are very easy to get on. No issues here. I'm gonna switch from those. Then we put on the white shades with the white shoes. I thought these would be perfect kind of shoes to wear by the pool, to travel, just perfect boat shoes, if you ask me, cruise shoes. And But I only want to keep one pair, but I'm kind of leaning to keep both pairs. You guys let me know what you think. These are the shoes. The dress was $16.50. The glasses were $7. These are hell yeses. Like my whole outfit, I'm out here winning with like $80. Gave a, gave a hundred, I could give you $20 change back. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Not really. That's not how the math is working. But I'm just saying it's a very inexpensive total outfit. This next dress is from Ted Baker London. It's $29.99. And it was marked down from $248. Got this from Nordstrom Rack as well. It is a straight sheath dress with this lace collar. As you guys know, I'm trying to dress more feminine in 2020. And I thought this dress was perfect. I love this baby blue color. It made this blue and white made me remember my Spellman heritage. So this little blue and white dress I thought was so pretty. I would not wear this lace bra underneath. It's just the bra that I'm wearing today. But let me show you where I'm on the fence with this dress. Woo -hoo -hoo. It is short. It's unexpectedly short. And it looks so beautiful on. I think it looks good on me, I have a mirror, like a full-length mirror right here so I can see myself. It does look good, but I'm kind of like, where am I going in a professional short dress? It's like a mini dress. It's showing a little too much thigh for me. I would not wear this, not in my office. I know a lot of YouTubers will tell you, oh, this is a great office look and blah, blah, blah. I do have it on 
with some gray Franco Serto heels that I um, hauled last month. But I, since I got to think about this one, it's a steal, it's a deal. I got the dress basically for 90% off. And I'm still like, I don't know. <laughs> like, it's a great steal and deal, but you have to have clothes that you're going to wear and have a purpose for the clothing. And having many, like this dress, I just, I don't know where I would wear it, but it looks so freaking good. Like, I'm looking at myself in the mirror, and I'm loving it. I'm a size 4 in... Ted Baker. His sizes just go one, two, three, four, five, I feel like. And this is the back view. I wouldn't wear these panties either. Don't worry. Don't worry, sis. I wouldn't do me like this. But let me know your thoughts on this dress. I feel like it's too short for church. It's too short for work. But it's too prim and proper for a whole bunch of other occasions. Let me know what you're thinking if you're thinking what I'm thinking. Is this a return or is it... Girl, it was 90% off. The occasion will come up and just keep the fucking dress. Let me know. This dress that I'm wearing now is a quintessential vision that I had of how I would dress and the colorway I would wear this spring and summer. It is this very soft mauve pink. Um, and it has a faux wrap top, a elastic waist, so I feel like it fits me right now where I have lost a little bit of weight, you guys, and I am just like not fitting the clothes that I wore last year well at all. Your girl is looking like all her clothes are falling off. It is a faux tabbed sleeve here it's really permanent you can't let it down this is the most expensive clothing item i picked up got this from nordstrom rack for 35 dollars i'm like is it worth 35 dollars but i knew in my head it would go perfectly with a handbag i also picked up this month i picked up this dunes i believe that's how you pronounce the brand handbag 28 dollars from tj maxx top handle structured it has a faux snake skin on the side the reason why i picked up such an inexpensive handbag when i really don't like to buy or invest in bags this inexpensively is because it's a trend bag for me it's a test it's a trial i don't normally carry bags in this neutral colorway. Before I go out and buy like a really expensive bag in this color, I'm just gonna test it out for $28 at TJ Maxx. And if I don't like this bag, I'm gonna sell it on Poshmark or sell it to one of my friends. That's how the world works these days. So this dress and this bag are both new for this month. I'm pairing them with some bow front um wooden heel slides i feel very sassy in this dress i do like how simple and easy this dress is i think it's a great weekend dress now this is where the length of the dress doesn't bother me because it's so easy and so free and i can just wear it anywhere and it's longer in the back than in the front, which really accommodates my da dunk 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 Yeah, so this, um, I'm feeling really good. It's very comfortable. And you can make it shorter or longer by where you place your waist in here. But I'm liking this one. And I like it with the bag, actually. I feel like this is where the dress bag combo is giving itself some play. I love this little faux wrap in the top because I have extra large breasts and this definitely creates enough space for them. So this is a great weekend dress. And I'm just really loving this look. And then now it makes me feel like the last dress definitely had to go back. Because if I needed a cute little short weekend dress, I would pick this one and not that one.
Another bag that I picked up for my cruise is this woven bag. Definitely missed the trend last year, but wanted to get on it this year. This is like the basket weave bag trend of 2019. I'm going on a cruise. I thought this would be perfect. And guess what, you guys? It actually has ample space. So when you're on the cruise, you have to hold on to so many little things. I thought this would be the perfect bag. It does have genuine leather straps. And I picked this bag up for $24.99. Again, it's a trend bag. I'm not going to go out and spend a whole bunch of money on this little circular woven bag, even though a lot of other YouTubers will. But not me, sis. So this is what this bag looks like, and I'm really loving it. And will definitely do it justice on my cruise in a couple weeks. I even love the little star pattern that they have here. So liking this bag for vacation this year. The next piece that I picked up are these cargo jogger pants from Target. They are part of their Wild Fable line. They are a size medium. I picked them up for $28. Normally, I stay clear of Target's um, fashion. I have for many years because I felt like they just didn't last that long and the fit was always questionable for their pants. But I thought these would game the system because they are an elastic waistband. And your girl has had problems getting things to fit with the new waist tush ratio. Um, I felt like I could really style these up. They do have a little sack. So I'm like, am I a small? But then I think if I got a small, they would be too tight on the pants. So I put this wrap top that's by... Astra label came from Nordstrom a few years ago. Very romantic, paired it with the same bow front neutral heels. I always love to wear my joggers with heels. They have a weight to them. Like these pants actually feel like they have some quality to them. I'm not even mad at the cargo pocket on the side. Not even mad at it, paired it with the same dunes bag. So this is me trying to have these romantic, girly spring colors. Let me know how I'm doing, sis. All right, guys, one of my last pieces that I'm gonna show in this, what's new in my closet, is a DKNY dress. I picked this up from Marshalls for $10. Now, why did I buy this dress? When you go on a cruise, you have these fancy dinners and we always buy me and my friend who travel together we buy the premium dining package because we are foodies for life okay and so I thought this would be a great dress to wear to one of the dinners it's a size medium it fits me perfectly it's a zip up and go and guess what it's in my favorite color hot pink so whereas all the other soft mauve pinks were me trying to be something else, <laughs> this is the color pink that I like to wear. It is definitely bold. It's in your face. It's like I'm a girl and you know it and I'm proud of it. I actually love the little pleating in the front. I love the high kind of empire waist vibe it's given me i like that i can wear a real bra with it the swoop sweetheart neckline actually makes my breasts really supportive i love the v in the back brand but i love this dress so definitely now i feel like this dress is going back because this dress fits a dressy vibe that's easy for the cruise. And this dress fits like brunch with the girls, let's go have lunch, hang out, really cute vibe for spring and summer, and it's in a trend color. So this one, of all that I showed you, will be going back. I actually have way more stuff to show you guys. I have two luxury handbags and a Shein haul. So I'm going to stop this video here and then 
unbox or show the Shein haul and then the luxury bags. And that will round out all the shit that I bought this month and add it to my wardrobe and why I bought it. In the next video, I will see you guys. Be blessed to be a blessing, Girl Boss Beauties. Bye.